Well, we didn't even like wait. We didn't uh, like show the just chatting screen or anything. I came straight to this screen because uh, I really like to let everyone. I say this all the time: is that every game, I don't care how people think about it when it first comes out, how hard or easy they think the game is in comparison to a previous version. When a game first comes out, almost always there will be somewhat of a bell curve for the rank ju- distribution. And here we go. Once again, I'm going to take you guys for a ride. Dun, 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 dun. We're on Tekken 8's rank distribution. This is a very early and small sample uh, gathered by a person, a Reddit user, uh, not quite factual, but put onto Twitter by a dear friend of mine, Ali at Faye. Got us to that guy. So, because he put this on Twitter, we can now talk about it and make discussions and things. So, this is the full, uh, this is the full range of ranks for Tekken, right? And starting from the end, you have beginner rank, uh, which I believe I'm in the way of. You guys can't actually see the percentage. So, people in beginner rank literally just haven't played the game. Uh, all the way up to, I believe you can start to lose points in yellow. So, out of the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ranks, the first eight ranks almost don't really matter. It's just a matter of playing and grinding and choosing to move forward, right? Uh, but even then, there are still people in these ranks that may have been in these ranks for a while because they're new to Tekken and they're losing a lot more than they're winning, right? That's just going to happen. That's totally okay. And that's acceptable. Then you get into the yellows and the oranges, which is where, if you look at the actual amounts, it's where the vast majority of players are sitting, right? Uh, the the largest majority of players are sitting in between the yellows and red. Uh, and the reason why specifically the first rank of red is so big is because the first rank of red is right past the middle of the bell curve, the middle of the full rank distribution chart when you look at it. So what it means is that a lot of people won't continue to play after they hit the first red rank or the first orange rank. Those are like kind of where people like, like I made it to orange. I'm good enough at Tekken. I'm happy with that. Or I made it to red. I'm good enough at Tekken. I'm happy with that. Uh, it's almost like a, like a platinum. I think you could consider like red rank, like platinum or, um, like a traditional MOBA shooting game, fighting game that has like a, a goal, like a bronze or iron through like master rank, right? You can consider that or challenger, whatever it may be. Um, then after that, it's, it has a significant and steep drop off, right? Even at Mighty Ruler, Mighty Ruler and Tenryu are very close. And then after that, it slowly just becomes, if you are in blue and forward, I just want to let you know that you are in the top 90% of players playing the game. I'm sorry, top 10% of the players playing the game. I have that all backwards. You might even be higher than that. You might even be, if you're in the first rank of blue, which is Fujin, according to this chart, you would already be in the top a top 5% of players, right? If, if these numbers are a little inaccurate because of the fact that this isn't a full data set, there's a lot of thing, a lot of stuff missing. But just from this, you can, you can see that. And it means that if you're red or past, you're probably okay. Like, don't, don't be mad at yourself. First of all, the first thing I don't want anyone to do is ever take the rank so serious that it hurts them or affects them mentally. And I'm saying it. Specifically from experience. I'm not one of those people who's going to preach it and not practice it. I used to be that guy who grinded ranked every day, all day, really trying to accomplish a rank. And it's fake it at points. They mean nothing. If they are a goal for you, that's awesome. And I'm happy for you if you make it there. But please don't beat yourself up if you don't, right? This is more of a thought experiment and just uh, like proof of concept to show that almost every game, especially when it's new, will have somewhat of a bell curve. Maybe there'll be spikes here and there like around where Gary you is or where Vanquisher is, but this is essentially how most competitive games will look at some point, at a lot of points during their lifespan, especially if they have ranked resets or if um, the game has constant changes and balancing and you can always lose and demote rank, right? If you can't demote rank, of course, at some point it becomes less of a bell curve and more top heavy or more bottom heavy. Um, generally, it will be more top heavy if you can't rank down right so if you can't i think you can't start losing points until yellow which means that at some point the vast majority of players will be in yellow and beyond we'll see significantly less first second 
um, first, second, fighter, strategist, combatant, brawler, ranger, and cavalry, unless there's always a new, fresh blood of players flooding into the game. If there's not, then that will start to get smaller and smaller, which unfortunately makes matchmaking a little more constricted for these newer players. Uh, so that's something to really think about, right? Once you get past a certain rank, it becomes a lot harder to find matches. And I think I've started to experience that in Battle Ruler. Like, I was playing as a Flame Ruler uh, my last stream, and I was like, dang, like, it's taking significantly longer to find matches. And when I do, it's almost never a Flame Ruler, a Mighty Ruler, a Battle Ruler. It's almost always either a Fujin or a Red Rank, right? I'm fighting, like, Fujin or Raijin, which are the first two Blue Rings, or I'm fighting anywhere in Red Rank. Uh, I mean, it happens. It's okay. It's just part of the ranked experience. I guess sometimes they try to keep you within, like, six of your rank or something. I'm not really sure how it works, but... This is the tech, the Tekken rank distribution chart, and you're somewhere on this if you play Tekken, and it's okay wherever you are, and I hope that you make it where you want to be, as long as where you want to be isn't Tekken King or beyond. Uh, start small. Start, start small. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video, little talk segment, this, I guess giving of knowledge if you don't have a Twitter and you don't look at this stuff. Now you have it. Here's the knowledge. Drop a like on the video if you appreciate the knowledge. Comment down below what rank you are, what rank you hope to achieve in Tekken 8 if you're even playing the game. If you've got friends who are in it and they really like their rank and they're in yellow, now you can show them that there's significantly better players beyond. This has been Beanie Thuggish talking about the Tekken 8 rank distribution. So far, very early Tekken 8, signing out and saying...